Hey everyone, it's Bear here, here. And I'm sure everyone has their very own first impressions after a week of Street Fighter 6 about character strengths and what have you, but I want to show off some cool stuff I've seen with Lily's offense, so let's just get into it and maybe I can change some opinions or maybe improve your own gameplay. So very first off, I want to start off with a simple concept of frame kills and specifically with her corner pressure. In the corner, I've been noticing that a lot of Lily players have been pretty much just doing a basic BNB and then dashing forward to try to get meaty, maybe sometimes getting hit by wake up jab, maybe by wake up throw what have you there's a great way to avoid this and also get her back into her win condition okay. essentially right there if you do medium spire into light charge you're actually plus so right now i have the bot set up to not wake up of anything if you see right there i am plus two on wake up meaning as well is that I can actually get a meaty command grab in this situation. Leading me right back into my win condition. I can get another charge if I want to. Instead, maybe I don't want to get another charge. I just want to do get back into the fray of things. I can drive rush in, press a heavy button, some sort. I'm kind of right back into the mix. You don't get too much off of the heavy button, just FYI, but it's something that you can do. Now, what happens when we're in a situation where we don't have wind in the corner? Well, we can do something very similar with a different type of frame kill. Instead of getting charged, we can do down heavy and we end up being plus five. Plus five is perfect. We can just basically do a mean command throw like we saw earlier. And see, you, see how we got a counter hit this time? Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. So why when we're in a situation where we're low on drive, we don't want to spend bar. That's okay. If you have two single hits, you can confirm the DP, 5H, and then me with any sort of light button you really want to there. You're plus two, essentially. So I would suggest to do staying short, or staying light kick, excuse me, or crouching light kick. You can also just me with a grab as well, if you want. So why don't you're in a situation where you're mid screen instead? Well, let's say we have win in this scenario. We can free kill and catch him with two dashes. We're right in their face. We can apply pressure that way. Perfect, the job is done, essentially. You can also kind of do the same thing if you have no win by doing EX but you have to walk up afterwards, making it much harder to have a proper frame kill unless we do the following. So another thing that you can do actually with Lily is that you can actually do meaty Condor Spire to essentially get some extra plus frames and catch them if they're trying to wake up with buttons. So in this situation, what I have set up here is that after the person takes a hit, they will block, right? So what I'm going to do is the following into heavy condor spire, meaty plus one. If you do it perfectly, you're actually plus four. As shown here, I'm plus four. If you are early on this, you will whiff in their face and you'll be extremely punishable. So be careful. You can also do this off uppercut if you don't want to spend bar. Right, plus four as well. Fantastic way of basically laying down some offense. Now, one of the beautiful things about this aspect is this is not just limited to combos regarding meaty spire. You can do this off anti-airs, you can do this off of space pressure. I'm going to show you right now. So right now I have the bus up just to do a basic jumping attack like this. I'm gonna show you how you basically, if you get anti-air, you can be able to immediately run some offense. As shown here by doing a DP, a medium DP in this case, and followed up with a meaty heavy condor spire, we're able to basically establish some plus range. By doing down heavy punch and anti-airing, we're actually able to get a combo on counter hit. If it's not counter hit and we get a thing like that, we're basically immediately in their face with plus frames to establish our pressure. And of course, we can do the exact same thing with dragon punch. It is hard, it's a little rough, but it is quite useful. Now, the one thing that needs to be understand about these situations, is that if you're overrepresenting this, it can be waking up with a dragon punch. This is not to say this is a bad option. This obviously is very good against anyone that doesn't have a DP or when your opponent's low on drive gauge due to the fact that it will burn them out if they were to do so. But this is just essentially a trade that you can make with your opponent. Another further pressure you can do with Condor Spire to use the alert active frames to be plus is the following. Essentially using a heavy button and then doing light Condor Spire in certain spacing. By doing crouching heavy punch at certain space, you're able to basically make it meaty or layer active frames to hit, allowing you to be plus in their face. It's actually very good for offense. Now you may be concerned when they mash, what happens if they press drive impact, I'll show you. Against a light button, a four frame button, you just end up counter hitting them. 
great, perfect. There's 39 frames of advantage. You can get a light charge. You only be negative by a little bit. You're actually in your win condition. This is fantastic for us. So what happened if they just, I don't know, drive impact us back? So if we end up doing our spacing like we did before, we can just drive impact back on landing. You know, speaking of heavies, and the last thing I really want to talk about is basically block string pressures and ways you can run your offense and RPS. Now, I want to start off with heavies just because we were where we just left off, and I'll move on to light pressure and basically different command grabs you can use at specific ranges. What a lot of Lily players love to do is each button into win. Either medium win or heavy win, depending on which button you press, right? The core issue of this is that it is drive impactable because there is a gap. As seen here. So how do we get around this? How do we play the RPS? First thing we can do is basically not always establish that we're going to use uh, medium or heavy wind. And simply do nothing and react to their offense. This would create a very generic RPS of are they going to press drive impact or are they going to press nothing afterwards or are they going to challenge with a button and what are you going to do in response the other amusing thing that we could do is we could try cheating our turn if we do something like down heavy punch into light spire we are able to block in time now something that i find quite interesting about this whole concept right here is that this is under the assumption that the human player is going to press drive impact as a reversal what may actually happen is they may actually try to react to the fact that they see the star up of condor win so we can play into this a little bit so right now why i actually have the bot here to do is basically on one delay frame to use drive impact a little bit later essentially right and we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to do down heavy into win and this time i'm able to react with drive impact and the same concept applies basically with every other heavy this with a very delayed amount of frames if we play into the aspect that we're playing against a human being and responding to our rps options able to basically rps back with them and create a scenario favorable for the lily player this is actually very important for the long-term health of this character and be able to establish that level of rps now for the last part of this video we're going to be talking about basic block string pressure and how you can basically threaten command grab at certain ranges in which command grab you're able to use and how you're able to continue your pressure we're going to be doing this with the idea that they just recently blocked in power condor spire As a final example, I will show what happens if they decide to basically press the button. And actually, there's a few more things I do want to mention, actually. Uh, and the following ones, still related to block string pressure. Essentially, after EX Chrono Spire, you are plus two. The reason why this is so important compared to the regular just plus one of a empowered Condor Spire is that they cannot mash out of your command grab, I'll show you. As you can see, the boss set to this reversal jab. So what I'm gonna do now is EX empowered Condor Spire with plus two into command grab. See, I grabbed the punch. This is actually fantastic because it means that there's a little bit less risk behind running your strike throw offense. Now, of course, you can still jump. Of course, you can still backdash, but it's a, that layer RPS has been removed from the sphere of being jabbed out. One final thing I want to show is a generic basing trap. In this position, people might try a challenge with a jab, maybe a crafting strong, something around those lines to basically check you to stop you from continuing your pressure. If they don't pick a far enough button that reaches, what you can end up doing is punishing them for attempting to challenge you and cashing out for a ton of damage. As shown here, and if you actually have an extra bit of wind,
and you can link all the way into Super. It's actually fantastic. The downside of this, of course, is based around the idea that they could pick, let's say, a standing fierce, something that actually reaches in time before your fierce comes through, or they may try to whiff punish you. If you're concerned about a jump, you don't have to be that concerned about a jump. You can actually anti air really easily afterwards. Now, this is just a an example. It's against certain characters, it, may, it might be more effective than others. Keep that in mind. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. L leave a like if you want to. I appreciate it. It will help a lot. Any sort of comments, subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you next time. This has been Bill Hedda. Peace.